something terrible character, you know, uh, not viable, whatever. I think we're going to see quite a bit of it in the future, but we'll see. All right, so Diamond Dupree going to be rocking Isabel mm -hmm. and Chili Chili from... I, from the Midwest somewhere, I believe. I think, because I remember I was looking at CD, and I saw him on there. I think it, he's the number one in Alabama, if I'm not mistaken. Going to be playing Luigi. Interesting. Diamond uh, Chili Chili, excuse me, one of those benefactors of the compendium that we had for this event. And already, this Luigi's getting something started. All right. Here we go with the Isabel combos, the fishing rod, down throw into the forward air, and he catches the landing, his own landing rather, with the down air. Chili Chili, of course, ordinarily a Mario and Pikachu dual main. Have to see if he plays Luigi like most Mario players play this character. I mean, now, this matchup in, on paper kind of seems bad for Luigi, where he's not going to be able to get in. But there's also definitely a uh, tier disparity. I can't speak. There, uh, there's a tier difference, rather, uh, between these two characters. Luigi, uh, probably one of the more questionable characters on this mid-tier list in general. Um, could be the SoCal bias of having Elegant uh, here that we think so highly of the character. But, you know, character's definitely really strong. I mean, this character has gotten results for a reason, and as you said, it can be difficult for Luigi to get in at times. But when he does, exactly. I mean, that's the case. You never you want to stuff him out. You as Isabel, you need to be winning more interactions in this matchup to have a chance. I am these nares coming out for both players actually. Let's jump into the back of good stuff from Isabel, but still at a bit of a deficit. And Dupree just going in with a dash attack into the up air or into the up tilt rather. Oh, here's the backer. Down tilt to get rid of the balloons, but Diamond Dupree just enough mileage to make it back. Alright. Well, I, I kind of expected like a Nair into a Cyclone there. I think that would have worked, but I'm not 100% sure. Some so. Looks for a backer, but he doesn't find it. Diamond Dupree just staying under him, not going to jump into the Cyclone gang. A good amount of damage. Chili Chili sort of having to stay his distance in the face of that Lloyd mine. Has to find a way to jump over it without Diamond Dupree expecting it as he pockets one of the green fireballs. Alright, fishing rod back throw. Going to just force Chili Chili off stage right now. And honestly, Isabel at the ledge is still kind of a scary character. The trap or the mine is actually really solid at catching get ups. And I love that he put the Lloyd Mine pretty much at roll distance, meaning that he had to neutral get up or jump, and Diamond Dupree picking the right option. Oh, I think up would have killed there. Uh, but instead opting for the forward variant of the fishing rod. Oh, that ill-advised, the mine was gone, so there was nothing stopping Chili Chili from running in and getting that punish on the fishing rod. It is actually quite laggy. That tilt though from Diamond Dupree, and all of a sudden we're even at last off. Yeah, now, what we just saw right there, uh, while Chili Chili was invincible actually, is that you can hit the Lloyd Mine, and it'll just kill it sometimes. I like the use of the green fireball to sort of interrupt the startup on the fishing rod, knowing that he can go in safely without that projectile to worry about. I right, and here comes some of the combos right now. So the up air from Diamond Dupree, but in Chile, in a bit of a precarious situation, he has to land in a weird way. Right, down throw into the back air, almost killing off the side, but good DI from Diamond Dupree. Watch right out of the air, but yeah. down to the depths with that down air. Chili, Chili asserting dominance. And Diamond, That's what I like to see. Diamond Dupree didn't anticipate him to go off because Chili was sort of staying on the edge and ledge trapping rather than end trapping at the beginning of that game, but. Towards the end, his uh, confidence rip, grew. You gotta just light rip sometimes. Uh, 
So I don't know if it was necessarily the stage that was the problem for Diamond Dupree. He did really well. The ledge traps with the platforms, the, the layouts he was given, they were good, but they weren't the end-all be-all of this set. All right, so we're going to be hopping right into game number two here. I believe he picked Smashville. Yep. Now, small stage zoners generally do pretty well on it because they can camp under the uh, center platform there and it's incredibly difficult to jump in on them. However, you also have nowhere to run from Luigi and that's not necessarily the best situation. That is the trade-off. You're limiting your opponent's space, but you're also limiting your own space. And Diamond Dupree having to contend with that. I, the photo from ledge just forcing Diamond Dupree to stop ledge trapping Chili Chili right now. Nice tag, but Diamond Dupree too busy actually setting up the Lloyd Mine to go for the tech change. Yeah, I feel like that's the one of the biggest issues Isabel has is that they have to give up being at advantage sometimes to be able to set up their you know traps and things like that for the future. Covering the roll with that up smash and allowing Chili Chili to get the grab and at 41%, I think Diamond Debris actually has to be thankful because he could have taken a lot more there. I right, dash tag actually detonates the mine and it can hit Isabella as well with the dash tag. There he got back down and down tilt, putting him in the corner. All right, down tilt, just gonna force Diamond to pull away. Hold shield, inviting from Chili Chili, but the Cyclone just off the mark. All right, and a great space to F tilt right there from Diamond to pull. Well, there as well from Chili Chili, applying a bit of shield pressure, but Diamond to pull picks his moment well. Right, Diamond Dupree is going to set up with the fishing rod, but it comes right back on stage. He's not able to catch Chili Chili on the way up. Now the right side of the stage is kind of off limits to Chili Chili, but he is able to get the up smash on the left side, so it does not matter. On this grab, I like the use of that Lloyd Mine, particularly at center stage, knowing that he can't advance forward with the zero to death combos too far. Sort of has to back out, only getting 40% or so. Yeah, but already 86 racked up onto Diamond Dupree. That's so much damage, and he misses the stage or the tech on the stage spike because maybe the uh, extended hitbox. Uh, excuse me, the extended hitbox.